Hello everyone. My name is Shivabrata Nayak and welcome again to my class. So today we are going to discuss one of the topic in London in minus sports written by Louis Fisker. So looking at the topic, we can identify. So the writer Louis Fisker is a popular, right? Popular writer, prominent writer. Uh, and his written biography on Mahatma Gandhi, from which this particular excerpt is taken. So it discusses about Mahatma Gandhi's visit to London and Mahatma Gandhi's dress, dress code. So we know that Mahatma Gandhi's dress code refers to the uh, a lion cloth with a shawl, and he wears a, uh, he wears a chandel, right? Um, and a dangling watch, that's all. So his dress up is referring here as minus force. So, which is nothing but a popular phrase uh, in London. When the journalist asked him that wha what was he wearing? for meeting to a special person, right, in London, the king and the queen. So he wore that the same dresses, like the loincloth and a shawl. The loincloth, which is, means, you know, covering means, till the knees. That is the region which is stated minus pores. Whereas, if you read this topic, we will find out the author also stated about Gandhi's statement by saying plus force. So plus force is nothing but the extra things which have been, which have been worn by the Britishers. That's called as a overcoat. So and inside that there is a coat and inside that there is a shirt, right? So means the kind of a dresses those Britishers wore, right? The, uh, and the kind of a dresses means Mahatma Gandhi wore, right? Shows that means there the author's discussion brings that in minus force, in minus force, referring to the line cloth of Mahatma Gandhi and plus force, referring to the means that the king and the queen wore, right? That's what is called as a minus force. Hope you understand that the title suggests that Mahatma Gandhi's visit in London. So, and when he visited to London, so the dresses he wore is minus force referring to loin cloth and a shawl and the loin cloth only covering the means um, only covering the means a part of his body and also covering till the knee whereas he also put a shawl and a dangling watch on his waist so uh, this particular topic is taken from Louis Fisker's written one of the biography on Mahatma Gandhi. So that we will discuss. Uh, but previous to that, let uh, let me discuss about the authors. So about authors. So who is the author? Louis Fisker. So who is Louis Fisker actually? Louis Fisker was born in the year of 1896 to 1970. Is an outstanding American writer. So he was a means, uh, writer or a columnist who writes about means, uh, uh, all those politicians. He writes about the statesman, right? And he also means uh, the writer or analyst of world affairs, means uh, discusses or writes about the matters that occurred in the world. He occupies a unique place among Gandhi's admirers in the West. Like you would find out that means Gandhiji, Mahatma Gandhiji. So he was not only popular in India, but also popular 
means a brood, right? And it's most of the admirers outside the country, right? So, and among them, Louis Fisker is one. So Louis Fisker has closely studied the life and teachings of Mahatma Gandhi in his book, Life of Mahatma Gandhi in the year of 1950. And this particular excerpt is taken from that book, Life of Mahatma Gandhi. So let's discuss about this text. So the first unit indicates the warm up by saying that, do you know that the second round table conference in London, so it is an important landmark in the history of India, Indian freedom, freedom movement. So when we talk about Indian independence, so where Mahatma Gandhi played very important role. So means he participated in most of the conference which was held in between Britishers with Indian. So among them second round table conference is also one of the event or one of the meeting that held between Britishers with the Indians. So second round table conference in London so is an important symbol or landmark, right? That's called as a, one of the uh, one of the symbol in the history of Indian freedom movement, where how that second round table conference held in London plays an important landmark. We'll discuss. It was held in London, so from seventh September nineteen thirty one to first of December nineteen thirty one. So it almost took a month or you can say 30 days. So in this particular part, note that in London in minus force forms a chapter, forms a chapter in the life of Mahatma Gandhi. In this particular essay, the author describes or means, uh, discusses the character of Gandhiji, right? More as a human a human being than as a politicians. So what do you mean by human a human being? So when I said that human a, human a means kind hearted. So Mahatma Gandhi was a kind hearted person, right? So though he involved in politics, but he, uh, he was more than a human, human a human being, rather uh, more, more than a human a human being than, than a politician, right? So the following unit of the text will give us the information that how author Louis Fisker means, describes about Gandhi's arrival and Gandhi's stay at London as India's emissary. So the meaning of emissary is called as a messenger. So how did the means, Mahatma Gandhi become the messenger of the country India and he sends the message in the conference, second round table conference, where he attains, so as a messenger of the country. Now, moving to discuss about it, so means we find out that means the whole topic is discussing not, not only about Mahatma Gandhi's role, right? It also discusses means. Uh, what kind of a characteristics of Mahatma Gandhi had. Now, look into it. Gandhi's, the first text says that Gandhi sailed from Bombay on the SS Rajputna at noon on August 29, 1931. So he, he was accompanied or he accompanied by his youngest son, Devdas, his chief secretary, Mahadev Desai, who he said out Boswell Boswell, right? Now, this was really a funny thing that you draw here, right? When Gandhi was, when Gandhi started his journey from Bombay on the SS Rajputana, right? The ship at noon on August 29, 
So the meaning of salary is called a chastate. And with whom, uh, with whom he went to means uh, London, or uh, with whom he means uh, went to go, uh, he went from Bombay to London. So with whom, uh, with him means uh, he, his youngest son, whose name is Devdas, his chief secretary, whose name is Mahadev Desai. So, and also, uh, means uh, Miss Slate, Parallel Nair. And he, he has also another accompany, so whose name is also G.D. Billa. So, who was nothing but the textile millionaire. We say that, means G.D. Billa, the textile millionaire. So, next is Pandit Malviya and Mrs. Naidu. So, you can say that these are the people, right, who accompany with Mahatma Gandhi or accompanied by, or sorry, accompanied with Mahatma Gandhi. But at the same time, Gandhi was proceeding or Gandhi was continuing as the only delegate, sole delegate, it means only respected member of Congress to the second round table conference in London, means who attended the meeting. No other delegates were necessary since means Mahatma Gandhi spoke for the organization and he was considered the segment part, he was considered the vocal in India. So this clearly indicating that means the people of country, the people of India completely depending upon Mahatma Gandhi. So because of his sober, because of his charming enchantment voice, right, he was so popular, right? So that therefore, Mansa, he was considered as the voice of India, right? So that is the region, Mansa, he was considered as the only respected member of Congress to attend the second round table conference in London. With him, many of the other respected members had, had visited, but he, uh, he was the only one who attended the second round table conference in London. So, next one. Yeah. So, the author stated that in London, from September 12th to uh, December 5th, Mahatma Gandhi stayed most of the time at Kingsley Hall. So where did Mahatma Gandhi stayed in London? At Kingsley Hall. So an East Settlement House. So as he was the guest of Muriel Lester. So Muriel Lester who had visited to India in the year of 1926, right? And now uh, when Mahatma Gandhi visited to London, he was the guest of Muriel Lester and stayed most of the time at Kingsley Hall, right? So it was the place where he stayed means most of the time, right, uh, as a guest of Muriel Lester. So in the morning time, what his, what Mr. Gandhi's means a daily routine. In the mornings, he took walks through the nearby slum area. So means he went for a jogging and he means went for a walking. So in the nearby slum areas, slum areas means village areas, or you can say that means uh, um, poor people who live in that areas. So he went to there and he found men and women on the way to work, right? So he also saw that how people were going to their work and doing also work. So what he would do, he would smile at means uh, them and also they they would also smile at him right and he engaged them in conversation so means uh, while he was going nearby slum areas he found those people were working and those people when they saw mr gandhi so they they, they smiled at him right and again mahatma gandhi started right conversation with them so later those people, right, and the latter came to their homes, latter, the uh, Mahatma Gandhi, 
not only talked with the, those of the people who lived in the slum areas, but also he visited to their, their homes, right? So children usually call, when the children called him, that what Uncle Gandhi, so Mahatma Gandhi was called as Uncle Gandhi in Britain. So, and settled up, so children when so called him Uncle Gandhi and also when so settled up to him, settled up to him means what? They felt shy and because of their when so, uh, nature, Mahatma Gandhi himself also felt, when so, you know, a little shy. And what did children do? They also hold Mahatma Gandhi's hand. So children called him Uncle Gandhi. Children also settled up to him, right? Uh, so smiled at him, right? And so also hold Mahatma Gandhi's hand. So even the author also discusses one of the incident where he stated there was a mischief, right? One mischief, loving youngster, right? So young boy, right? Who called out Mahatma Gandhi? That what? Hey Gandhi, where is your trousers? So we know that Mahatma Gandhi was famous for his means dress code, right? So Mahatma Gandhi used to wear lime cloth and a shawl with a chandel means on his feet and also or on his foot and also a dangling watch. So that therefore people means mostly. Uh, you know, uh, mostly call him that, where is your trousers? So similar to that, one of the youngster called out, hey Gandhi, where is your trousers? So Mahatma Gandhi had a good laugh. So Mahatma Gandhi laughed on this question, right? So therefore, here he stated one of the answer or he replied to that youngster, that what? That uh, he stated, means that he wore the minus force and means uh, uh, the other people of Britain wore the plus force. Now, how did he say that? We will come to know in this particular part, in the second unit. In the second unit, the author stated, do you know Gandhiji was humble in dress? Humble in dress means what? He, wear, he wears like very common dress, like ordinary dress, and simple in manners. His lifestyle was very simple, right? So this unit, the second unit will tell us that how Gandhiji was simple in his dress and how he had a unique approach to his goal. So why did he go to Britain? What was his goal, right? So his goal was nothing but to get the country complete freedom. And therefore he went. And that was his unique approach right, to his goal. Now, so when we look into the second unit, where we find out Mahatma Gandhi was a wonderful newspaper copy. Why he was called as a wonderful newspaper copy? So even when every time on his name, right, mostly article published in the newspaper, right? And most of the time, journalists uh, surrounded, surrounded him with lots of questions, burst, making noise around him continuously or incessantly. So even the author stated that one reporter questioned Gandhi about his dress, that means uh, that what he was going to wear or means why was he wearing such dress? So in reply to the question of the reporter, right, Mahatma Gandhi replied, you people wear plus force, which means extra things. So plus force means called as extra things that you people wear, minor minus force. So the, um, the Gandhi or here you can say Mahatma Gandhi said that he wears the minus force means what? Now, things which are necessary, minus force referring to the means lion club and the sun, which he wears. Whereas, means uh, you people means referring to the journalist and also all those beauties where means extra or excessive dresses, right? So even when he was invited to tea 
in Buckingham Palace, right? So with the King George V and Queen Mary, to whom or with whom he is supposed to meet. So, so all the people of England was a gods, a gods over what he would wear. So a gods over means called as a excited, right? So people of India, uh, England, were excited, means excited a lot that what he was going to wear because he was going to meet King Judge Five and Queen Mary. That's why people of England were very much excited over what he would wear. But at the same time, he wore the same usual loin club, sandals and a shawl, which was nothing but an ordinary dress, right, which he wore. And his dangling dollar watch. So what do you mean by dangling? The meaning of dangling is called as a hanging. So he wore a, one of the watch on his waist, which was always hanging. So subsequently, or finally, someone asked Gandhi whether he had enough on. Enough on means what? Whatever he wore right, to meet on the special occasion of meeting with the King Judge Five and Queen Mary. So what he wore enough dresses. So he replied that the king had enough fun for both of us. So it means, means the king wore the dresses of him also, right? It means the extra dresses which was necessary. So the king had worn for us, right? So he was means making fun of it and he was making, uh, uh, he was answering it in a humorous manner. So the author stated, he enjoyed himself everywhere, wherever he goes, he enjoyed. He had talks, he had talks with the Lord Irwin. So who is Lord Irwin? The Britishers, right? So what time prime minister, not only Lord Irwin, so he also met what time prime minister, that is Lord George. He also met the Manza, head of the church father, Archbishop of Canterbury. He met Field Marshal Smots in London. He met George Bernard Shaw, the famous literature writer. So, and also met many of the means of famous people of England and went down into the country near Reading to pay his respects to Colonel Maddock, right? So who is Colonel Maddock? Now Colonel Maddock, who had performed the appendectomy, means it's a, one of the DJs, right? He was suffering from, and because of that appendectomy or called as appendicides, right? A kind of a, means a disease in which what happened means uh, a small part of the human's body inside the stomach or maybe means uh, inside the belly, you will find out a small flesh is gradually growing, right? That's called as an appendicides or appendectomy. So, means Mr. Gandhi also went to, mean, went to pay his respect to Colonel Maddock, right? So Colonel Maddock who had performed the appendicides uh, operation, right? Um, and uh, where did actually Mahatma Gandhi meet him? Now on him in Punajal. The, the Gandhi also met Winston Churchill, right? So, but Winston Churchill refused to see him. So why did means like uh, he met all those people? So obviously means as he was very simple in nature and his main thought is nothing but uh, to make the country proud, right? So means, and wherever he goes, he enjoys himself, right? So that is why he met all those famous people of England, right? So all those famous people, like among them we know, means, uh, uh, like you can say, Lord Irving, wartime Prime Minister, David Lord George, Archbishop of Canterbury, and Marshal Sports, Judge Bernard Shah, and other 
famous speakers. Even we went to meet uh, Colonel Maddock and Winston Churchill, right? But what happened? It's an unfortunate that he did not meet Winston Churchill. The author stated that he also addressed number of public meetings. So who? Now Mahatma Gandhi. So who delivered number of public meetings, right? And he spent to public meeting means uh, uh, he gave a speech before the people, people of London, right? And he also spent two memorable weekends at Oxford, right? Oxford University. In this, the author stated that, and in the he also did the private conversation, right? So, and in the private conversation, he tried above all else to explain what he meant by the independence of India. So, uh, his main purpose was to means, uh, spread the information pertaining to India, means uh, before the world. And that is why in a private conversation with the journalist, so he explained that what was his purpose. His purpose was to means, uh, point out independence of India. He stated that he would cut India off. He would cut India off means he did not want right, to make a relationship right, or to make the country or means he did not want India would make a relationship right, with the kind of a country right, that did not give freedom to the country. He, his, he, uh, he stated that from the empire entirely from the British nation, not at all war, not at all. If I want India to gain, not to give. So his, his voice is indicating that means he was proud of India and he stated that means India would not, right? India would not live like means isolate, right? And he stated that he would cut India off from the empire entirely from the British nation, not at all. So he stated that he wants India to gain the benefit, not to suffer. So the meaning of grief is called as a suffer, whereas gain is called as a benefit. If I want India to get the benefit, not to suffer, the emperorship, the emperorship means that's called as a, the ruling or the ruler. The ruler must go. So at that time, it was the time of before independence of India. So he stated the emperorship must go, the ruler must go or must leave the country. So according to him, he stated, he suggested and he also stated that he should love to be an equal partner like with Britain, sharing her joys and sharing her sorrows. Right? and an equal partner with the man's dominions, so geographical places or geographical spaces also. So according to him, means India would get all kind of a benefit, India would not suffer, right? He did not want to make any kind of a relationship, means in any of the man's kingdom or any of the country, right? That did not allow the country to get the benefit, but to suffer. So he wanted also the ruler of means that ruled in country India must lead the, means lead the country. And he also wanted that the country India always want to, to be an equal partner, right? Equal partner means what? So India must get its independence, so India must enjoy the benefit means that it, uh, that it deserves. And at the same time, means Mahatma Gandhi also voiced that means he believed in equal partnership with, means with Britain, right? Whether it's in a happiness or whether it's in a sorrows. And he also wants that equal partner, not only in happiness and sorrows, but also he wanted to tell about the places, dominions or the areas or the geographical spaces, right? So, but at the same time, 
he stated that this relationship with the Britishers or with Britain must be on equal terms, right? It means uh, the parallel benefit should be given, right? He was, Mahatma Gandhi was describing clearly and with a remarkable means precision or precision means that's called as vision, right? So his clear ideas tell about that India must get the status of free India, right? So assumed in the Commonwealth in 1948. So he stated that means uh, uh, during the time period of the Commonwealth in 1948, right? He believed that India would get its freedom, right? He went even further. He went even stated more that what he saw what many of his followers have not yet discerned. So not yet discerned means not yet identified, right? He stated that means his followers, his followers means he stated about the country. He stated that he saw what many of his country people have not yet seen or not yet identified, right? He stated that means isolated independence is not the goal. So he did not want the country India must stay or should stay, right? In isolated or in alone, right? So that the country India would not make any kind of a relationship with other countries. He did not also want, he did not want also means that any country should not face means a lonely state or an isolated means a state. So he declared that or he asserted or he declared it is voluntary interdependence. So he stated that means two countries are there or each and every country must depend to the other countries. And it is nothing but voluntary. Automatically, it should, it should happen, right? It should not be forcefully, right? It is voluntary interdependence, right? Liberated colonies so treasure their newfound independence. So liberated colonies means what? Now, all those countries which have got the freedom Right from the colonies, right? So treasured their newfound independence, right? So he felt, means, or he talked about the countries that got the freedom. So he stated that they think it is a viable reality. So country that means a vision or that sees the freedom, the country that also gets the independence, right? Means, uh, they are fortunate, right? So they find out that it is nothing but a treasure, right? So even he stated, they think it is a viable reality. So obviously it is means possible and it is the reality. Definitely means people of India will get it. But the law of nature in love, friendship, work, progress and security is creative interdependence. The author stated that what means a country must right must abide by the nature right nature means a country must have the love for other countries right a country must have must create the friendship must work together must also get uh, get the opportunity of the development and also means must be protected right. And a country is creative interdependence. Then only we can say that it is called as a interdependence, means one country helps to the other country. That's what the author stated here, right? Now, we can understand that means the author's viewpoint, right, is something called as a unique when it comes to, means um, when it comes to the, representing India, means before the world. The author stated about, means uh, the author stated more about this particular widget where he stated in unit three, that do you know Gandhiji was accessible to all? It means Gandhiji did not feel proud 
and Gandhiji was means uh, uh, Gandhiji was meeting to all, all the people who want to meet Gandhiji. So Gandhiji always meet to them also, right? So did he confine himself to the round table conference only? So did he go to London only for the attending round table conference or restricted himself? Confine means restricted. Restricted himself to the round table conference? No. So the following unit will tell us how Gandhiji spent his time in London. So we know that he went to uh, London so for round table conference, but while attending the round table conference, so what else he also did, so which we will discuss in this particular unit. So the author stated in this particular unit that what? That everywhere he made friends. So why? And, so, and who? Now Mahatma Gandhi. So Mahatma Gandhi made friends by his charm, by his means, uh, called as a nature. So the kind of a charming nature, always having a smile on his face, right? Having a human, name, human being or a kind-hearted nature and also straightforward frankness, right? And humility and accessibility. So anyone can meet to him. He did not means, uh, deny anyone to meet him. Right. He even walked into the lion's den. So what do you mean by lion's den in Lankashire? Right. So lion's den is called as a, means a manufacturer or an industry or a means you can say that a company in Lankashire place where his agitation or called as anger for Khadi right, and against foreign club had caused painful unemployment. So he stated, he stated about what? He stated in, in anger for Khadi and against foreign clubs. He stated about, he made the meeting and in the meeting, he told uh, his, or he expressed his anger for Khadi, not to use Khadi and uh, uh, he was telling about for the support of Kadi and was going against for foreign club. Right? He wanted that Indians should not use foreign club. Indians should means, uh, make their own product right? and they should use those products. So that's called as a Kadi. And that had caused painful unemployment. right? And he also felt very sad when he realized that means, uh, people, right, uh, unable to get a job, right? So at a meeting of the textile mill workers, so he, means when he was in London, right, he met many of the people and among them, then some of the mill workers of the textile right, with whom he met. So among all those mill workers, one of the mill said, uh, or one of the men said that he was one of the unemployed. But if he was in India, he would say the same thing that Mr. Gandhi is the same, right? It means the man or people of India or some part of Minsa, some part of England where people agreed on Minsa, Mahatma Gandhi's concept or Mahatma Gandhi's ideology. So that's why means. Uh, no one can say that Mahatma, or no one means uh, no one is going against of Mahatma Gandhi, right? When he visit to uh, when he visit to London, so the author also stated it was a delightful photograph, means uh, beautiful or unique photograph taken outside the Greenfield Mill at Darwin show. Darwin, right? Shoot Gandhi wrapped in white homespun from neck to knee. So the author was stating that how Mahatma Gandhi right, took a photo with the means of people of in London in a place called Greenfield Mill at Darwin, where Mahatma Gandhi covered himself or covered his body in a white homemade means a khadi, right? And 
that Khadi was covering his neck to me. For it was cold. It was Nansa, cold outside and squeezed in among cheering. Right? And he was, Nansa, you know, uh, making himself squeezed or called as a comfortable among the members, right? And cheering, applauding omen. So those of the members were the omen. So with the among, group of omen, he took the photo and he was very close to them. He was squeezed in among those men's uh, happy and praising omen. One of whom, right, one of whom to his embarrassment is holding his hand, right? So means even Mahatma Gandhi felt very, uh, Mahatma Gandhi felt very uh, embarrassment or disappointment or you can say hesitate when one of the women is holding his hand, Mahatma Gandhi's hand. He made friends even among those he hurt. So it was a very nice principle of Mahatma Gandhi that what he did not show his anguish or anger attitude towards any of the person, even those of the person, right, means who uh, hurt to him. So he made friends even among those he hurt, right? So, or you can say that uh, he was uh, having a kind of a nature, right, or a quality. And because of that quality, what happened? Means he mixed with all, right? So he stated, I found that my work lies outside the conference. He told a London audience. So even, means he stated that he went to London, he reached in London and he, means took, uh, he attended many of the meetings, right? And in one of the meeting, he stated that, means he felt that his work, his actual work is nothing but outside the conference where he wanted to meet the people of London. And this is the real round table conference. So which one is the real round table conference? The meeting with the common ordinary people of London, right? So the seed, so it means the ideology or the principle of Mahatma Gandhi. So which he is or which he sows, right? means uh, may result in softening the British spirit. So Mahatma Gandhi was very wise and clever, right? So means mixing with the London audience, right? And giving them his ideology, giving them his principle, right? He did nothing but putting the seat, right? Put or influencing them, right? And uh, that may be one of the region that creates means the British spirit or British heart soft, right? And means making those Britishers preventing the brutalization of human beings and preventing the brutalization of human beings. So preventing the or stopping, right? Stopping the brutalization or cruelty or hatredness among the human beings. That's what is called as a his principle. That's what is ideology, which he influenced among the ordinary common citizens of London. So, next part in which the author stated about means that what? Yeah. So, the author stated that means Mahadev Desai. So when we talk about Mahadev Desai, so here we uh, find out the picture where Mahadev Desai with Mahatma Gandhi, right? So Mahadev Desai uh, was nothing but one of the company of uh, Mahatma Gandhi, right? So who wrote in his diary and his diary show that Mahatma often got to bed at 2 a.m. So what was his daily activities, he used to go to bed at 2 a.m. night and he awoke at 3.45 a.m., right? So, and why did he wake up at 3.45 a.m.? No, he woke up for prayers. He wrote letters and he also read papers 
and then after what he used uh, he, uh, he uh, what he did then he rested again from 5 to 6 he had no respite from then till the next morning at 1 or 2 am so which was nothing but his daily activities in london right he stated mahatma desai's diary shows that what means uh, he spent only means one hour 45 minutes for rest and or you can say hardly he used to go to bed for three hours right and then after means uh, throughout the day he used to walk right so small wonders that he occasionally slept at sessions of the conference now this could be the reason for which most of the time what happened means he slept at the sessions of the conference now he went to uh, second round table conference for attending the meeting but because of his means uh, because of his daily engagement or because of his means uh, lack of means rest so he mostly slept at the sessions of the conference he did not give it his best so he was means he never tried to make the means you can say that second round table conference successful or you can say that he did not give his best to make the success of the second round table conference right so because whenever he was attending so as per the author that mahatma gandhi felt asleep the round table conference was bound to fail. So why? Why Mahat means the round table conference was felt? Because Lord Reading, a member of the British delegation, so Lord Reading was nothing but a respected member of the British, right? Who formulated the British purpose in one sentence, who described that what was the purpose of British, right? So he stated that I believe that the true policy between Britain and India is that we should in this country fight all we can to give effect to the views of India while preserving at the same time our own position. So based on the reading, based on the means, you can say that uh, the British respected member, Lord Reedy, that what now the purpose of the British government is to protect India, right, and fight, right, fight for the country, right. We should in this country fight all and we can to give effect and means uh, uh, the British can make the changes, right. So, and while also saving at the same time, their own position. So they wanted to make their men's own position in the country and they wanted to keep safe the country and they wanted that what uh, uh, you can say that what uh, they, they will fight for the country also, right? But while they are fighting, they are uh, keeping safe the country, they also want the position of Britishers in the country. Right. So, and means the Britishers stated that they do not want to discontinue that, abandon. The meaning of abandon is called as discontinue. It means Britishers do not want to leave their position from the country. Right. So, an irresistible force. Right. An irresistible force. It means something which cannot stop. Right. Means so forcefully. Right. So Britishers wanted that means uh, they cannot right, leave the country because they are getting benefit out of it. But at the same time, they are saying that they want to protect the country. right? So an irresistible force. So when you say that irresistible, so something which is nothing but a, uh, surely, right? surely nothing but a forcefully, right? So the author stated that India's yearning or India's desire to make itself or make herself free, right? So India wants to get the freedom, right? And means 
the Britishers wanted to stay there and also make their position strong, right? So in that case, you can say that it is a completely opposition, uh, opposite ideas, right? And that cannot be means uh, that cannot be solved, right? And for which the author stated that India desired to be free and met an immovable object. Met an immovable object means India did not change its, uh, her decision. India did not accept what the Britain, Britishers stated here. Britain's wish to stay in India that made agreement impossible. So Britain wish or Britishers wish to stay in India and India did not want to right, accept that. India want a complete freedom, right? So that is why the agreement that uh, that was made in second round table conference was not passed or succeed, succeed or successful. So the British government had assigned. The author stated that as the second round table conference was felt, right? The author stated about means one of the other idea where he stated. The, when Mahatma Gandhi was in London, the British government had assigned or placed to Scotland Yard detectives. To Scotland Yard detectives means to Scotland security guard, right, uh, or bodyguard who would means a guard or protect Gandhi in England, right. So, but these two guards were very special policemen, right. They were giants, means a strong, heavy in size, who usually protected royalty or called as a rich people. So these two policemen grew. The, these two means a policemen or these two Scotland, Scotland that means what people who means belong to the Scotland area. So these Scotland yard detectives grew like the grew to like the little man. So here the little man is referring means to Mahatma Gandhi, right? And when these two Scotland had detectives means uh, uh, protecting the little man, they started liking to this man because of his attitude, because of his nature, because of his qualities, right? Unlike most dignitaries, right? So Mahatma Gandhi was not like other respected means members. Gandhi did not keep right these security guard or this means uh, policeman right at arm's length. At arm's length means what he did not means uh, stay away from them. He did not ignore them right. He gives them importance. He discussed means uh, his public affairs means what he did, what he did not want to do. So all those things. He discussed with these uh, guards, Scotland guards, and means of visited their homes also. So means uh, he made a kind of a relationship with them that what means uh, they started liking him. So Mahatma Gandhi discussed all those public affairs with them and also visited to their house, right? So before leaving, before leaving England, Mahatma Gandhi requested, or he requested, Mahatma Gandhi requested that they be allowed to accompany him to Brindisi, Italy. So they, he requested that they be allowed. To be allowed means these two Scotland Yard detectives must be allowed to go with him. Where? Not to Brindisi, Italy. Right? Whence or where he would sell for India, and where means Mahatma Gandhi uh, went to India, right? So the chief asked the region. So when the means uh, chief of that two Scotland had detectives asked Mahatma Gandhi what was the reason and why Mahatma Gandhi wanted to go with them, right? So Mahatma Gandhi answered that because. They are, means the two Scotland Yard detectives are part of Mahatma Gandhi's family. So Gandhi replied that. 
So from India, he sent each each of the yard detectives a watch, right? So that engraved, engraved means written with uh, written a note of what with the love from Mr. Gandhi, right? So and he sent a watch or called as a means uh, he sent each a watch and with the cover means he wrote a note that with love from Mr. Gandhi. This clearly indicating the kind of a human a human being and the kind of a means attitude, the kind of a principle, the kind of a love enchantment that he kept in his life that made him different from others. So that's what the author stated throughout this story. So the beautiful story in London in minor sports stated means not only the purpose of going to London, right, means uh, and attending the second round table conference, which was held, but also the author's description about Mahatma Gandhi's characteristic means uh, and his role and his means uh, and his uh, um, popularity that spread in the country called Mahatma Gandhi, right? And that makes Mahatma Gandhi different from others. I hope you understand the story. So still, if you have any doubt or query, please, means you can ring me on my personal mobile number or you can send me whatever your test or doubt through WhatsApp. My WhatsApp number is and my mobile number is 9692119187 so you can also send your query you can send me your uh, doubts um, or questions through my email id that's lecture.in.english@gmail.com so that's all for the today so thank you meet you in the next class with a new topic thank you